Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. So Vivo T3 Ultra has been launched. It's a game changing device in terms of hardware for this price segment. The Dimensity 9200 plus chip, it's very good and powerful chip and it competes with the likes of the Poco F6 uh, which has a Snapdragon 8s Gen 3 and the OnePlus Nord 4 which has a Snapdragon 7 plus Gen 3. So, on paper, the Vivo T3 Ultra has a really good hardware, UFS 3.1, LPDD of 5x RAM and a really powerful device. So let's see how good uh, the performance of this device is. We will be doing the performance testing, we will be concentrating of on uh, uh, the CPU throttling test, so how good the throttling is and when it throttles, uh, whether the temperature is rising and what is the maximum temperature it reaches while the test is going on and also uh, we will do the stress test, uh, the 20 round loop test uh, we will be doing on this device. Apart from that we will also check the Antutu score, the Geekbench test and the storage values for the uh, Vivo T3 Ultra. So let's begin. So before that, if this is your first time on this channel, do hit the red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So let's begin the performance testing of the Vivo T3 Ultra. So we have the Vivo T3 Ultra with us. So this is the 12 GB RAM variant. So we'll just show you the about device. So this is the 3.335 GHz Dimensity 9200 uh, Octa-Core processor, 12 GB RAM. Uh, Android 14 out of the box and 256 gigabyte storage as well. So this is the variant Android 14 out of the box. So let's check the temperature first. Uh, you can see 32 degrees. So it's a normal room temperature. In fact, uh, uh, the current temperature in our office is around 28, 29 degrees. So that's the temperature somewhere around 30 degrees you can expect. So this is 32 degrees uh, the device uh, temperature and uh, let's uh, check uh, uh, the battery as well so you can see here 74 percentage battery right now uh, that's the battery on the vivo t3 ultra so we'll start off the device testing with uh, the cpu throttling test so there you go so it's a 20 uh, loop test so we'll start the testing and we'll see how the throttling is so 74 percentage and around 32 degrees temperature on this device so let's start the test and we'll come back and uh, report the final readings for this device So now we have completed the test and you can see here it throttled to 68 per percentage of its max performance and uh, you can see here max value. Let's also check the temperature. So 41 degrees uh, it went up but that's the maximum I believe. So you can see here it even went to 43 degrees. Uh, so that's the increase uh, temperature. So you can see here now after the test it's around 41 point uh, or rather 41 closer to 41. So that's the temperature after the test and from 74 percentage the battery reduced to 68 percentage that means uh, around uh, 6 percentage drop after the CPU throttling test. So that's the uh, test uh, result so this is the result value so you can see here 68 per percentage of its max performance. Next uh, let's do the stress test. So next uh, is the 3D mark uh, wildlife uh, stress test so we'll just uh, download this so wildlife extreme uh, stress test is what we are going to do right now with uh, this device so it's a 20 round uh, test and we'll see the results so let's start the test So we have just com completed uh, more than half of the stress test. Let's quickly have a look at the temperature in between. So you can see 49.7 degrees, uh, almost closer to 50, in fact 50.1 during the stress test because this is uh, the highest form of uh, uh, stress testing on a device. So definitely the temperature will increase. So you can see here cross 50 degrees during stress test. Let's see how uh, stability is in terms of stress testing. We'll come back once the, uh, the values are ready. So now we have completed the wildlife extreme stress test. The stability is 46.3. The best loop score and the low score, loop score you can see here. The performance range uh, battery dropped from 67 to 56 percentage. 
that that means around 11 percentage drop temperature rose from 36 degrees to 48 degrees and you can also see the frame right here so that's the stress test so 46.3 percentage is the uh, test now let's also check the temperature after the test it's around 46 degrees so that's the temperature of this device now next let's go to the uh, Antitu benchmark test. So this is the Antitu benchmark test and you can see the values 13,84,390 is the value we got uh, almost uh, close to 14 lakh value the demand city 9200 chip you can see the CPU score the GPU score the memory score and the UX score for this device. So next let's see the storage test uh, so you can see here the storage test value this is UFS 3.1 hence uh, you will get uh, almost uh, 87,000 which is quite good for a UFS 3.1 device and finally let's go to the Geekbench test and you can see the values here 2092 is a single core score which is pretty good and then you also get the multi core score as 5454 so that's the uh, Geekbench test for this device so this is the performance testing so that is the performance testing of the Vivo uh, T3 Ultra uh, and we also checked the battery drain as well as uh, uh, the uh, temperature during the testing so hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day